Think about it. For the past few decades, the intersection of societal advancement and business innovation has been technology. Most of the gains we have made as a society are directly attributable to the development of technology that makes it easier to communicate, improve our well-being, and transact business. Now, with the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, our society is facing a challenge beyond anything that could have been reasonably anticipated, accelerating efforts to build a new society around the world. To shape this discussion, we're going to talk to Spencer Chu. And I'm a solutions architect, and I help businesses with their digital transformation. And Krista Cruz. I'm a CEO, and I advocate the use of technology to benefit society. They both work at NTT Data, a top 10 global IT services provider headquartered in Tokyo and operating in more than 50 countries. NTT Data came up with a social concept detailing a new social vision for addressing the COVID-19 pandemic called an online first society. This is a society in which the online world has been seamlessly woven into all human social activity. Of course, physical human activity will remain important and its value will remain unchanged. This is a society in which people fully grasp two concepts, the reality of human physical activity and the new reality of the online world, thereby providing the best mix of both worlds that everyone can use freely to suit their purpose. Sounds like it's not very different from where we are now, right? But there's more to this vision than meets the eye. Our mission is much more than enabling society to simply endure the pandemic and come to terms with the consequences of COVID-19. We can build back better by applying our cumulated strengths and digital technologies to solve social and economic challenges that would usher us in the new future. Sounds like a plan. But where do we start? Digital technologies are already being used to maintain social activity without face-to-face -face encounters for a content. And we want to accelerate this trend. We want to realize a society whose conceptualization of human activity goes something like this. If you're holding a meeting, make it an online meeting. Receiving medical treatment, receive it online. You have to complete a government procedure, submit your applications online. The Overseas Workers Welfare Administration, or OWA, the government agency protecting the interests of OFWs and their families, responded by providing financial assistance to displaced overseas Filipino workers due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. The total 10 million OFWs, OWA was expecting over 150,000 to apply for financial assistance through the Dole Aka portal. OWA needs to quickly respond to the needs of OFWs. With the partnership of NTT Data, OWA's team was able to create flexible resources in the cloud. Within two days, they were able to develop the OWA ACA portal and provide a way for OFWs to request for assistance. Within three days of launch, OWA received more than 54,000 online applications through the Dole ACA portal. Moreover, OWA's IT personnel was able to configure, deploy, and provide continuous updates remotely using DevOps and Azure, providing flexibility at an instant and minimal downtime. We've seen how the pandemic made an impact on mobility, especially in public and shared spaces across the world. Social distancing and careful restrictions in mass gatherings have been a key tactic to mitigate risks and spread of virus. What do you think will happen to real-world interactions? After months of quarantine at home and businesses on standstill, the priority now, other than flattering the curve, is to get people back to work, get students back to school, and help communities return to prosperity. IoT and smart technologies can make this happen. Government needs to ensure that people do not need to fear your social interactions in the future. Communities need to have peace of mind in the new way of the world. Our smart platform uses optical sensors in IoT to perform contactless health checks. By using data from optical sensors, our platform is able to detect crowds and check individuals with higher temperatures are within the vicinity. Powered by Microsoft Azure Machine Learning and Cognitive Services, our platform is able to determine if there are possible risks and alert the correct individuals. We can harness the power of data and drive effective outcomes in society. 
This platform provides multiple real-time applications from detecting building occupancy where we identify possible hotspots and crowded densities to continuous health checks where we provide situational awareness, protection, and physical distancing compliance, contact tracing, and data analysis, and even the facilitation of remote, remote care management. With this solution, we foresee a society where we can safely return to work, go to school, and enjoy social interactions while the, the government can improve their response in situations and use data to drive their decision-making and planning and optimization. This can be used for shared spaces and establishments like malls, offices, and restaurants, right? Would this help healthcare professionals as well? Absolutely. Entity Data has heavily invested in R&D to explore how emerging technologies can be used to detect uh, several diseases and viruses. One of which is our medical imaging AI-based solution called Genki. Genki means... It's actually Japanese describing good health and well-being. True enough, this solution leverages cutting-edge AI solutions for analyzing chest x-rays and CT scan to triads over 17 other pathologies, including COVID-19. Do you mean COVID-19 can be detected through an x-ray? Essentially, yes. It can either be used in a completely automated fashion, in places where radiologist is unavailable, as a pre-screening tool or with a radiologist in the loop or expert in the loop mechanism where the expert can confirm or edit our AI markings and analysis. In both the modes, the diagnostic time is drastically reduced as the AI facilitates instant triage and quick reporting. Now, ever since the pandemic broke out in Wuhan, medical practitioners around the world have been looking for ways to screen and understand COVID-19 manifestations in the lungs. Chest imaging has been illustrated to be crucial in diagnosis and management of COVID-19 as the virus attacks the lungs and causes pneumonia-like etiology. How much time can be saved with this platform? From an average waiting time of two days with a standard RT-PCR test, the Genki, the entire process, takes no more than five minutes. It costs a fraction of the current rapid test prices too. This technology can be leveraged even after COVID-19 pandemic as the model detects other illnesses and could provide early warning as well. That sounds fantastic. Do you see any challenges to adopting this platform in the country? The complexity and rise of data in healthcare mean that AI is actually being applied within the field. It's prime for that. We have the technology and skills to use AI, but we believe it will be essential to do more than just promote technological implementation. We must also initiate fundamental transformation vis-a-vis -vis the various hurdles that impede digital technology's power, including systems, rules, and social customs. In building a new society, it will be important to grasp the circumstances that gave rise to the problem and then incorporate approaches different from ours. We started a pilot in Baguio City involving 1,400 individuals to be subjected to the AI process screening. They include police trainees, personnel, caddies, food hunters, and other considered susceptible to the virus. Rising COVID cases and looming impact to tourism in Baguio has to be addressed. The city requires a speedy, cost-effective way to try and people coming in and out the city. We want to make sure Baguio is a safer city and with our solution, it can help triage people more effectively and more efficient to be able to democratize targeted mass testing reduce hospitalization, relieving burden on healthcare infrastructure. Not only will this accelerate the opening of value for tourists, but ultimately providing a comprehensive and sustainable public health screening solution, including tuberculosis, lung nodules, emphysema, cardiomegaly, fibrosis, and several other chest conditions offering instant results in India. Even once the coronavirus outlook improves, the collective experiences of people and countries around the world is likely to be a catalyst for further advances in artificial intelligence in the healthcare sector. Advanced language proficiency for AI is already reaching human ability and is beginning to support healthcare workers with some aspects of medical diagnosis. AI technologies can detect underlying health conditions will not only help to treat patients but would prevent the spread of future pandemics. It looks like we're forging the right path to achieving the best of both physical world and online world. 
What do you see as the biggest impact of this vision when realized? The business models of companies will be rapidly transformed by the power of digital technologies to prioritize customer experiences, regardless of whether they are B2B or B2C. This will pave the way for society to help a variety of people continue to work, receive an education, and obtain medical care, especially those who must remain at home to provide child or nursing care, those living in remote areas, and those who have difficulty going outside because of physical handicap, among others. A society that brings better quality life to all, one in which people can continue leading an ordinary life regardless of their circumstances. This is what the online first society should be. NTT Data is building back better societies through the use of information technology towards a new and sustainable future. Together, with strong alliances like Microsoft, we are extending a positive impact from within our organization to the world beyond.